So there's something about autumn that gets me feeling really nostalgic. I don't know what it is, but it's just it's something that builds in me around the end of October. And even though I've been talking about this topic for the last few weeks and in a way the entire project, I want to talk about the past. More specifically, my history with making videos and films. So, around third grade was, a, was about the time, I'd say definitively, that I decided I wanted to make films and videos for a living. It was something that I really wanted to do. But before then, there, were, there was this large array of like potential careers, which I know is weird for, it's a weird thing for like a third grader to be thinking about. How old are you in third grade? I don't know, I'm not going to look it up, but it's a weird thing for somebody that young to be thinking about. So first, I wanted to be an artist, but I'm not very good at drawing. If you look, there's all kinds of drawings in my room. None of them are from, well, one of them is from me, but the most of them are from my brother, and he's a really good artist, but I'm not too good. So first it was art, then I wanted to be a cook, but I wasn't really good at that. I, funnily enough, I did have an easy bake oven, you know, the kind with the, the light bulb, but it got, uh, it got recalled, and so I had to send it back, and all they sent me in return was like a slinky, which, it, it was the crappy kind that broke, like after a week, so that was a little disappointing, because those cupcakes that you can make with the easy bake ovens are actually very good. I only ever made one, and I dropped it on the floor, but it looked good. So I started making videos with some of my friends from elementary school and to be honest they were mainly just copies of popular internet videos of the time and we didn't really get why our copies weren't getting weren't like getting all these views and becoming viral like the first one we ever really did that got popular got like a thousand views over 3 years which I know isn't that great um it was a Lego version of the Laser Collection by Dom Farah. Have you paid the Pied Piper? It was a really bad version. Uh, and then there was this other one. I don't know if it's still up. There's this Paranormal Activity parody, basically, where the guy's talking about how there are ghosts in his house, and then a guy runs by wearing like a, like a blanket, basically. So we made a copy of that. And then once I got into sixth grade and I met Paul, I thought, okay, it's time to kind of revamp the whole thing. So I deleted all the videos off that original channel. I came up with the name Devil Duck Productions when I was taking a bath and I saw a little squeaky toy. So I changed the name on YouTube. And then eventually I met Tristan and Santana and the, the four of us started making videos. But they, I mean, they weren't as bad as the elementary school ones, but they were still not that great. So eventually, I completely wiped all those as well, and a lot of them actually were uh, were like simple early attempts at vlogging. Like I had an iPod Touch, and I would just walk around like this in portrait mode, which I know you're like crucified for doing that nowadays. Like this video didn't have to look this way; it could have been prevented. Say no to vertical videos. So you see, even back in like seventh grade, I was already on my way to doing this project. Like this, the roots were already there, weirdly enough. So about four or five years ago, I did another complete sweep of the channel. So now the, the oldest video on the channel right now is from three years ago. I know why I deleted all the videos, because like I said, they weren't the highest quality. Um, but it still would have been funny to have them around so I could show them now. And it's nice to see those as well because you can see how much you've progressed and how much you're continuing to progress. And I'm sure that's what it'll be like when I finish this project too. And actually a few days ago um, when, I was, when I was reviewing the oldest video on the channel, uh, Ben actually commented, I expect you in three years to do a video of this on your phone which I was already planning to do in like one year and then two years after that I'm gonna go back and uh, do a little analysis of how this project has 
in any way changed my life and how my life is 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 different from 2013 to now to then this project's almost over like relatively there's still there's still a little ways but it's getting close and a lot of people have been asking recently what I'm gonna do once it's over and the scary thing is that I don't really have an answer for that it's it's scary but it's also you know there's a lot I could do Would you be interested, once this project was over, once this every other day thing is over, would you be interested in seeing me continue to do these, these videos every single day?